Wow. Nope, that ain't coming out. But today, what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the Milwaukee and the DeWalt. Now, I looked through all of my uh, videos today, and I only did one versus video between Milwaukee and DeWalt. Now, and that was from the M12 uh, Fuel Impact versus the Extreme Impact, both 12-volt systems. This is my first Milwaukee versus DeWalt in the 20 and 18 volt line. So this is gonna be a good one. We're gonna start off with the Milwaukee. The model number for this is 2853-20. A fuel, a quarter inch hex impact driver. This is supposed to be the best on the market, which I believe it. Uh, we are gonna prove that today. We are gonna use a six amp hour battery high output for the Milwaukee. And uh, this is a uh, three speed settings, sorry, four speed settings and a screw. It is on speed three right now. This only gives the specs on speed three. Uh, it is uh, zero to four, uh, zero to forty three hundred impacts per minute and zero zero to thirty six hundred RPM. So this is gonna be a good one. Quarter inch hex, and yes, we are gonna have a good time with this. So for the Dewalt, this is model number DCF887. Three speed settings goes to screw to. Uh, then two, then three, and then the model number. Uh, so then the RPMs for this is on speed one, zero to a thousand, speed two, zero to zero to twenty eight hundred on speed three, zero to three thousand two hundred fifty, and so this is approximately. All right, so the, the when it comes to specs, Milwaukee takes the cake. The mill the impacts per minute is thirty eight hundred on the. DeWalt and on the Milwaukee, it is 4,300. Wow, it is 500 impacts more than the DeWalt and it is 350 more RPMs than the DeWalt. Wow. So the according to specs, um, Milwaukee should take the cake on this one. All right, so make sure uh, when you work, make sure you wear gloves and safety glasses. Come on right here. All right, so when it comes to this, we are not gonna waste too much time. The main event is gonna be uh, lag screws, but we are gonna do two timber lock screws each. We will be using uh, Hilti Hex sockets. Now, is this collet push-in? Yes, it is, fantastic. It's on speed three, battery is four. We are using the six amp hour high output for the Milwaukee and the six amp hour flex volt for the DeWalt. All right, so ready, go. Time. Is the collet pushing? Yes, it is, the collet is pushing. All right, six, uh, six amp hour flex volt, battery is full. It's on speed three. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do one more for Milwaukee. All right, so ready, go. Time. Oop, I messed up. We gotta bring that out a little bit. Hopefully it's not too late. There we go. That's good. Last one for the DeWalt. All right, so ready, go. All right, so Milwaukee is gonna take DeWalt's out and DeWalt is gonna take Milwaukee's out. We're doing both at once. I am not gonna stop the timer. I'll only stop the ti timer if I trip up and I don't take that out immediately. All right, so ready, go. Time. 
All right, DeWalt's turn. Speed three. Battery is still full. And the battery is still full on the six amp hour. High output. All right, so ready, go. Like I said, what we are going to do is we are going to do one 4-inch, one 6-inch, and one 10-inch lag each. Now, these are big wigs, so both of these should be able to do the 10-inch with no issue whatsoever. In a video I filmed, but I am not going to upload it just because it's an unboxing all that I've uh, already done. It was uh, the $150 kit for this with a 5 amp hour battery, charger, bag, and the tool. Uh, but I broke the Makita from a uh, half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter. Ooh. That Makita broke. And so now we're going to use Milwaukee's for now on. See how long Milwaukee lasts. All right, so... Up, oh, Milwaukee actually goes first. And uh, uh, Attack Life Impact Rated Sockets, I'm still using them. It's been months, months upon months. And the inside still looks darn good. All right, so we're going to start off right here. Uh, for each thing, I'm going to try to keep them uh, within the same ring. All right, so we are good to go. Ready? Go. Time. Take that out a smidge. There we go. All right, it is DeWalt's turn. Not too shabby at all. Yep, four inch. Gonna do it right here. Ready? Go. Very, very good. All right, so we're going to do these right here next to each other. Move over a little bit. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not too shabby. We're going to do this one right here. All right, so ready, go. Not too shabby. Now I feel the Milwaukee dominated on that one. All right, so let's rotate this. We're gonna do the 10 inch right there. He is first. Once again, the battery is full. Yep, this is a long one. All right, so ready, go. That is unbelievable. Let's hope uh, DeWalt can uh, live up to this challenge. DeWalt's battery is still full. All right, so ready, go. Alrighty, so that's that. Let me go check on the wife to see if she's okay with me doing this right now. 
All right, so I got the okay from my wife that what I'm doing is not affecting her work. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out a four, six, and then 10 uh, at once per tool and see what the time is between them both when it comes to a, an ultimate stress test. And they also are gonna take out uh, each other's bolts. So the first one I put in is uh, Milwaukee's and the second one is DeWalt's. So this one takes out the second one. All right, so ready, go. Wow. All righty. Wow, that's cutting it, it's, uh, itself off. I might need to use a impact wrench for that. Let's try a little bit more. What's the battery at? Battery is full. Nope, it's uh tool's cutting itself off. All right, so oh, we're gonna get order before we. All right, so we're gonna take this one out and see if it's capable of doing it. All right, so ready, go. All right, time. All right, now, I love it when this happens. YouTube gold. Let's see if the DeWalt could redeem. All right, so, ready, go. Nope, that ain't coming out. That ain't coming out. All right, so. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to take. We're going to have to use the impact wrench. And take this out. So ready, go. That one was in there. All right, so, oh, actually, I, I, I still need that. Because what we're gonna do is we are gonna actually put this back in. Ooh, that is hot. We're gonna put this back in. Do it right here. All right, because both of them failed to take that one out, so we're going to put this in right here. Time. All right, so. So let's bring this back out. All right, so it's gonna do a four, six, and then 10. All right, so ready, go. was a tough cookie now based on what i just witnessed and felt uh the results are there though i uh, the time is there 
but the Mil that just proves to show you that the the most powerful impact, which this is the second time I've proven this, doesn't always mean it will get the job done. Now, both of these companies are uh, have their own speciality tools when it comes to certain stuff. Well, I'll, I'll give an example. I believe, strongly believe, that the DeWalt hammer drill will dominate the Milwaukee hammer drill. I believe this one, the DeWalt, would win when it comes to these two, which this is coming, by the way. Let's do a quick temperature reading. Uh, the Milwaukee, 88 degrees. 115 degrees. The DeWalt got up to 115 degrees. So the Milwaukee ran significantly cooler, which I feel it's actually getting warmer. No, the same, 84 degrees. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I know you guys are probably, uh, some of you guys are probably stuck in your houses uh, unwillingly, and uh, I'm sorry for that. And so I hope that this video helps entertain you a little bit, at least past 10 to 20 minutes. So that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.